Dolly family. Spring flower here coming at you live from the cottage. The spring's little flower buds. And look who's here. Look, it's my baby Razu. Guys, I had to go and get her. I just had to go and get her. It's a tradition now. We started the tradition. Kiki and Razu comes to the cottage with me. So I had to go get her. So I'm going to change her clothes because she's actually been in this outfit. I'm so ashamed to say she's been in this outfit since the last time I was at the cottage, which was like back in April. So she's definitely due for a little outfit change. Say hi, Rezzy. Hi. So guys, I had to go get my little Rezzy. Say hi, Delhi family. I had to gather guys I couldn't leave her home and like I was saying in the previous little clip um, she's actually been in the same outfit since April since when I brought her here in April so she's definitely due for outfit change I had to get, get my little bum bum because this is as you guys know my favorite little baby and anybody that's new to my channel, welcome to my channel. Welcome to all my new subbies. I appreciate you and I'm happy. Welcome to Spring's Little Flower Buds Nursery. So this is Razu, my little city toys doll that I found in New Orleans back in 2000 or 2001, I think it was, when I went, to the, went on a girl's trip to the Essence Music Festival. One of my favorite trips and we went to a flea market and that's where I found this little one right here. She was a very scruffy little baby. She was all scruffed up and but she stole my heart you guys. She had on a dirty little dress and she looked rocked right up but she stole my heart and I had to bring her home. I had to rescue her from that flea market and bring her home um, to Bermuda with me and I've been in love with her ever since. I recently found out what type of doll she was. I never knew what type of doll she was. I just loved her for her cute little face. But I recently found out um, last year sometime doing some little research acts and Dolly friends, they helped me out um, what type of doll she is. And she's a City Toys doll made in 1997. So that makes my little Razzie 22 years old. Say, so I'm 22. So I put her somewhat in the vintage category. And, um, yeah, guys, I had to get, get my baby. She was with me at the cottage earlier this year, and she had to come back again. So, I'm just changing her, right? Put on fresh pamper and everything on her. She's due for everything fresh right now, so she's going to get a fresh pamper. And I'm going to put on this cute little um, outfit on her. These are the pants. It has little teddy bears on it that says good friends. So these are the pens, and this is the little top. And this has good friends, little button down top, and then this is the little onesie. It says, Dear Mommy, I love you. And I love you too, baby. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, guys. Um, I found this little outfit. Everything came from the drift store, one of the drift store buyings that I had. And um Um, yeah, I tend to keep her in long sleeves, even though sometimes I don't mind seeing her cloth, but she is a cloth doll with three quarter little short little limbs, as you can see, which makes her, is what gives her her super cuddle factor. She's my cuddle bug. My little Rezu is my cuddle bug. She's a very cuddly little baby. Very nice to hold. Um, it's probably one of the reasons why I love her so much. I could just pick her up and cuddle with her and it feels so good. I'm just going to put these little pink socks back on her because it matches her outfit already. So I'm just going to stick these back on. Not that she really needs them, but... Yeah, so I tend to keep her... Try to keep her in long sleeves and stuff. Just to cover up um, all, the, all the material. And of course, you all know I love to see my little baby girls in pink. So, if it's a pink outfit... <laughs> I'm going to put it on it. Even if she just came out of a pink and white outfit, she's putting back on a pink and white outfit. <laughs> and she just looks so adorable. She's one adorable doll, you guys. 
I think so anyway. I think so anyway. So for me, um, doesn't go by price. Gosh, I don't even remember what I paid for her. I know I didn't pay very much. It was a very little bit of money I paid for her when I got her. Um, but yeah, guys. I'm so happy that she's up here with me. Because this doll does make me happy. And even though I don't play with her as much since I've gotten all my new babies, I really don't play with her as much. She's really on the shelf more than anything. Every now and then, I like to pull her down. And this is the time to pull my little bum bum down to play. <laughs> uh, what I need? I need the brush. Yeah, so this is the time to pull my little bum my little bumbino down. I'm just gonna get the brush real quick, guys. Um just gonna brush her down a bit. But yeah, my little Razzy. Her name came from um a bar. <laughs> Poor Razzy is named after a bar, but I'm telling you guys, I had so much fun in New Orleans. And this particular bar I went to called Rezu was so much fun. And I just wanted to have something to rem remember like where I got it from. I got it from New Orleans. So I wanted to name her after a fun place that I attended in New Orleans. And that's how she gets her name. Rezu. Wanna put your little sucker in, baby? There you go, Schnook. Look at her, guys. Oh, she looks so adorable. My little beautiful baby. <laughs> I'll be right back. So yeah, guys, I just had to go get my little cuddle bug ready. Oh, it's something about, I always say it, guys, it's just something about this doll. Like, I just love this doll. And I probably paid like $5 for her at the flea market. So I know it was something real dark, stupid, cheap. Because it was one of those little flea markets where people just pull whatever out of the houses or whatever. And, you know, and I just saw her and I had to bring her home. <laughs> She's definitely one of my little lovey loves. <laughs> and this little circular pacifier is so cute. It's a um, zero to two months or something. It's a real tiny one. And um, I, didn't, I don't think I have any that th that is this small in my collection. So I said, let me just get it. I got two of them. It came in a package together. And um, yeah, she's going to be her her little sister, you guys. And it's okay that she has on long sleeves because it's air conditioned all in the house. In up here and also at home you know um, upstairs is air conditioned or downstairs I leave my fan on because it's so hot and um, she's just gonna be so snuggly mm -hmm. and she's smiling behind this pacifier guys I think she's so happy and excited that I bought her with me up her <laughs> I know it's silly guys but you know how we love our dolls and we have to bring them with us so Kiki is still downstairs sitting off in the chair and I just brought her up to the bedroom to change her up and share her with you guys and show her that I bought little Razzy to the cottage with me so she's gonna spend the next couple of days up her um I don't know if I'm gonna be changing her clothes much more often but I definitely will be sharing tons of cuddles with her and um just having some fun holding her like when I go back downstairs and watch some little TV, I'll be hurling my little cuddle bug. Yes, I will. That's what I call her, my cuddle bug, because that's what she is. She is my little cuddle bug. Little baby. She's so cute. Whoever designed this baby's face, she is just so, so, so cute to me. So cute to me. So, as a collector, for me, it's not about price of a door or anything like that. It's just the hard fact that does a baby pull at your heartstrings? Does it pull at my heartstrings? That's what it's all about for me. Like, and when I'm collecting these babies, like I always say before, it's always I have to really enjoy the face. I'm gonna enjoy the baby's face. And um, I really enjoy her face a lot, you know. So this is a nice fun time to have her up here with me. In it, baby. And I'm gonna play with her and I'm gonna role play with her and all of that. I'm just gonna have some fun with little Razzy. <laughs> I'm gonna have some fun with you. Yes, I will. She's always give me in my collection, guys. True say, mostly those that I buy for me are always gonna be in my collection. But I did say that um, I would love to experience different sorts of dolls. So I know that if I get a doll that I just want to see it, how it is, how it is as a, you know, baby to keep, 
to just review it that's what i'm gonna do probably put it on my little um instagram page or whatever to try to sell it or you know do giveaways and stuff with them that's what i plan to do with other dolls because i do plan to explore other dolls but the ones that i keep for me that's staying in my collection like they will not be going anywhere once I say, okay, this is for my collection, <laughs> they won't begin anywhere. That's the type of collector I am. I'm very sentimental. Um, I look for dolls that have a meaning to me for one reason or the other. Or if I want a certain doll in my collection, you know, I'm just going to get it and have it. I mean, like I said, other dolls, because I love dolls so much just to see them. And all types of dolls. It could be like the little 18-inch, like the American Girl style dolls. I'm very interested to see what those are about. I'm interested to see what the bow-jointed dolls are about. I love Barbie dolls. And sometimes if I come across a really cool Barbie, you know, I might feature that on my channel. Um, any other type of reborn style dolls or baby dolls that I think are cute, that I like. You know, and I want to see what it's like, then I'll just get it and, you know, check them out. Stuff like that. You know, just have fun. Anything I may find at the thrift store or do something that might be cute or anything like that. That's what I'm going to be doing, guys. And that's just going to be another facet of my channel. And, um, yeah, along with my forever babies. I know they say don't say forever babies in the um, doll community, but <laughs> I have forever babies. My babies are forever and ever amen. <laughs> I have for it is and we've been running all this time and like I said before it was a period of time where I have put my dolls down for many years. My three girls, I put them down for years, didn't touch them, didn't touch my zoo, nobody. She always kinda sat out though. I never really packed her deeply in a closet. Like she always kinda just sat there on, on the little shelf or the little dress or whatever, but didn't dress them or nothing. They were just there. But I didn't get rid of them. Uh-uh-uh. I'm like, I can't get rid of these dolls. <laughs> so they got kept, you know. And, um, yeah, that's how my collection's going to be. So as long as I've got this life and everything, I'll be collecting and playing with these dolls. For sure, for sure. I don't know when I'm going to stop collecting because right now I've got the bug. Right now I have the collecting bug. I'm not even going to lie. I, I have a bug to find more babies. And, oh, you guys, Ashton Drake and Paradise Gallery C. See, I gotta watch out for them because see, they do payment plans and they do that three easy payments of $39.99 or four easy payments of $50, depending on how much a doll costs, and it's so affordable to do. So it's like, I'm end up with <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> but yeah, guys, so yeah, I just want to comment, just share my little resi resi with you guys, share my little, little boom boom boom. My little cuddle cuddle cuddles. My little cuddle cuddles. My little cuddle cuddles. With having Razoo, I kind of understand why people love a cuddle baby. You know how they have the cuddle babies that don't really have feet, that don't have hands, that just, you know, cloth butted and the, the, the baited and stuffed really well and they got the hair. But um, I can understand because that's what she feels like. She's not very, she's not super heavy and but she's just cuddly and snooky yolks. She's like snook, snook, snooks. Yes, you are. She's a snook muckums. <laughs> I totally understand about cuddle baby. She's my cuddle baby. I mean, that's probably what it is. She's totally my cuddle baby. But alright guys, that's enough rambling. Oh, YouTube um disabled my comments on my video I made with, with uh, my star boy and my Tessie. They disabled my comments. I'm so upset. Like, YouTube, please stop disabling my comments. I'm playing with dolls. Their dolls don't even have no body parts. The cloth body dolls with vinyl and limbs. Are you serious? Are you serious? The thing about it, I saw that people had made a few comments on the video. And when I went to go, you know, hard it and respond and stuff, no comments. They disabled my comments and they won't let me turn it back on. So, YouTube, please stop doing that. I'm so mad that they're just going around disabling Dolly Channel's comments. It's not cool. And I don't believe in that excuse how they're saying um, to protect children. I get that, right? I get that, but I don't know if they've got some sort of machine doing it, but they need to sort it out because interacting with uh, people is what makes it fun to be on YouTube, right? You know, so hopefully they'll stop, but yeah, guys, they disable my comments. And hopefully they won't disable any more of my comments. Please don't, YouTube, please. I'm begging you, don't disable any more of my comments. You did two videos so far where you disabled my comments. Please stop. 
<laughs> all right guys thank you so much for joining me again and watching please welcome Wednesday to the cottage with me and Kiki and remember is your dose your way I love you Dolly family until next time bye bye